Hello, dear friends. God bless you. Uh, Pastor David here, July 25th, 2011. I have a very important uh, video to bring you regarding um, three days of darkness. But first, first things first, will you hear the sound very soon? Are we fast approaching? The call. <laughs> Dear friends, subscribers, and viewers, it's time to um, get your house in order. Get your house in order, repent of your sins, and give your life to the Lord. I want to talk to you about the three days of darkness. I've brought you so many videos on the um, birds falling out of the sky. I mean, 12 minutes to midnight, we got 5,000 birds. 5,000 birds fall out of the sky in Arkansas. Very next day, 500 in Louisiana. Um, and the bird deaths continued. Uh, it made headline news. Um, turtle doves, I mean, across the world, in Italy, falling out of the sky. and. Uh, fish washing ashore dead all over the world in, in New Zealand and a um, hundred uh, a thousand tons of dead fish wash ashore in Brazil and it's continuing today the fish deaths are still continuing today I, I'm, I'll do another video later and update you I mean we had an entire lake in Indonesia die and change colors and all the fish died I mean all around the world now dear friends um, there is this object in our solar system. Some are calling it uh, a comet. Personally, I, I believe, like I, I think a lot of people do, that if it was a comet, it should be moving a lot quicker than it is. Um, what it possibly is, Comet Elenin. And I know you heard that name. Some are calling it a brown dwarf. Uh, the Bible mentions wormwood. Whatever you want to call this object, um, it's been wreaking havoc on this planet, and it's real. Uh, NASA has a website where you can uh, follow its path and, and watch the alignments and um, I'm going to try to put a video and a link uh, in the drop down for you. Let's uh, take a look at a few things real quick. Um, February 27, 2010. This comet, I'm going to call it Comet Elenin for right now, comes into perfect alignment with uh, Earth and the Sun and we have an 8.8 .8 earthquake in Chile. September 4th, 2010, another perfect alignment with the Earth and the Sun. And we have a 7.2 earthquake in New Zealand. Now this is not counting. Now we haven't got to the first of the year yet. Now we're um, 12 minutes to midnight. We've got 5,000 birds falling out of the sky in Arkansas. Uh, 500 in Louisiana. Dead fish washing ashore um, all over the world. Turtle doves falling out of the sky in Italy. Um, and the massive animal and fish deaths have continued ever since this planet has been coming into our getting closer and closer. Um, and the fish deaths continue today. We got now we've got massive, you know, massive flooding and and the Joplin uh, tornado, the death and destruction. And are these the signs? Are these the warning signs? And are we about to hear that sound, that beautiful sound, uh, God's trumpet call? Dear friends, on in August, this object will be uh, will be gaining ground, gaining ground on Earth, getting closer. September, dear friends, <clears throat> and I'm not finished. September 26, 27, and 28. Now I'm not a scientist, and I, I I'm going by whatever research that I have found. We are possibly looking at three days of darkness. And this is very important. I'm going to uh, read some Bible scripture in a moment. Three days of darkness. Um, and then in October um, 17th, this, so I'm not saying it's the end of the world, September. I'm going to get back to September in a moment. Um, this thing will be the closest it's ever been in alignment to Earth and the Sun. 
and we should be getting um, a, a heavy, heavy debris field from the comet's tail. Um, not only that, we have uh, November 8th, an asteroid with a giant uh, debris field headed this way. September, to me, I have had a feeling for a long time before I even researched any comet element stuff uh, a whole lot. And I feel God has been telling me that uh, this is a turning point. September 26th uh, and 27th and 28th, this object is supposed to be in just the right uh, formation to block out the sun. Let me take you back to June 15th um, and the Lord's Feast, the Feast of Pentecost. We had a, a full blood moon uh, visible over Jerusalem. September 29th is the Feast of Trumpets. September 29th, dear friends, is the Feast of Trumpets. Now, also on September, September 29th, we have um, in the constellation uh, everything coming together to form the lady clothed in the sun about to give birth. Uh, all coincidence? All coincidence? Could we be getting ready for the rapture of the church? Um, let me read to you first. Uh, if you have your Bible handy, you can read along with me. Isaiah 13, uh, 6 through 10. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that traveleth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations therefore shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his, for, in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Now I want to take you real quick to, and I find this interesting. Could this be a prophecy of the rapture? Hosea uh, chapter 6. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. In the third day he will rise us up and we shall live in his sight. And I'm running out of time. There's so much more passages. And, and in three days he shall rise us up. 26. 27, 28, 29th, perfect alignment. This object will be in perfect alignment on the 29th of September. Um, some are, are, are saying we're in for a major, major pole shift. Again, this time a devastating one. And it's, it's not to frighten you. It's time to prepare. It's time to give your life to the Lord. Um, could this possibly be the beginning of the tribulation and with the asteroid and, and the comet's tail coming in October 17th and um, September the debris uh, from this asteroid uh, could the rapture take place any time? It's time to get right with, with the Lord. It's time to repent of your sins accept Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior. If you're not sure how, send me a personal message right here on my channel um, salvation and let me guide you leave some comments on this I wish I had more time I'm running out of time God bless everybody I love you and let, let's discuss this in detail God bless you